Delighted to say we're joined by Warren Feeney. And Warren, you're here midweek, uh, involved in Europe and still very much involved in Europe. But it's going to be a hard ask to get a result there. It is. It's going to be a big ask. Um, you know, we're still getting in as underdogs to this game, but we've given ourselves a slight chance um, with the way we're, we're played out there, our performance against a very good team. But it's one that we're quite confident that we can get a result with. The away goal was crucial too and will also add, I think, a lot of interest and a lot of people to the gate because they will feel, whenever you take a look at the other Irish League clubs, the way they've equipped themselves this year, that Linfield could possibly make it and move on again. As I said, it is a big ask, but you know, fans have got a massive part to play in it. The spur of the morning, to be honest, around the club all week there's been a buzz. Um, fans have been coming in and you wouldn't think there's a big game going on. Um, you know, of all ages, which is good. You know, at the end of the day, as I say, it's one football game building up their big season. But, you know, the position we're in, we know we've got a chance of doing something. And I don't think Linfield have qualified past this round before. So, look, without tempting fate, you know, we've got to, for that 90 minutes, be confident and hopefully get into the next round and create a bit of history. Have you learned something as a, almost, dare I say, a rookie manager, you know, in your first taste of European football? Have you noticed subtle differences that you need to adopt to, let's say, even for future reference? Well, I think, you know, probably the continental teams that you play want to play the way maybe I was brought up in England. Maybe, I'm not saying like with the tempo, but they want to play football, where else I think over here there's a lot of directness back to front quite early. Um, and it probably suits us a little bit better because we try and play football ourselves and you know when you come up against these teams they want to they wanna cut through you, they look for that little pass through you where over here they'll look to get balls into the box quickly and I think probably it's a little bit easier to play against um, than the way teams would like to play over here but as I say to you, that, that's teams at the highest level and I think that's the way football should be played. You were involved last year in the Irish League and I suppose you'd be the first to say you weren't surprised the way that Irish League clubs have equipped themselves in Europe because it was a good league last year with plenty of talent and a very high standard. No, it was a fantastic league, you know. As I said, chopped and changed the whole whole season and then obviously Crusaders got a grip of it. But, you know, Europe's fantastic for the clubs. Um, it is tough as well. You're coming up against teams, you know, who are halfway through their seasons. And also, if they're not, you've come up against a lot of full-time outfits. Um, but, you know, it's free games. I say that there's players. You want to go as far as you can. It's great for your CVs. But just go and enjoy it. Go and play with, go and play with a smile on your face. Express yourselves. And, you know, you're coming up against the best. And sometimes you're going in as the underdog. It's a good thing, as I found internationally. You know, I used to love going in as the underdog against the big games because technically, yes, they're better on you. But for me, they can't match your heart. And I think that's a big thing that the players have got to take in European games. Whenever you take a look at that game then, you know, the second leg, I suppose the couple of words that spring to mind listening to you, heart and history. It'd be a great opportunity for Linfield. It is. You know, you, you get the history saying that. The team we're playing got to the semi-final of the European Cup 25 years ago. So they've got a bit of history behind them. But no, you look, it's a great game of football for both sides. I'm sure they'll be coming here very confident, but... You know, we're very confident in ourselves and if we can't create a wee bit of history, it'd be fantastic. 